Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. My name's Liz, and this is Let's Get Lizical, where we do everything card making. Today we're going to be working on a card that's kind of a bit of a back-to-school encouragement card, um, using the MFT Little Rascals set. Um, and I've done some little bit of prep work. Um, so we're going to be doing a chalkboard style, uh, which is why I have this like little piece of black. This little guy's going to go on the inside. Um, on the outsides it's going to say it's trash can, not trash can't, and on the inside it'll say you've got this and have this like little cheery raccoon on it. Um, so I'm going to be breaking up this sentiment here. And then on the outside I'm going to use one of these two probably, but we're going to make it look like it's on a chalkboard. Um, but I'm going to get, uh, you know what, I'm going to stamp the raccoon that's going on the chalkboard first because I will need to let it dry. I'm going to stamp it with some clear embossing ink. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do a cool technique with it after. It'll be a little bit hard to see just because it is um, clear ink on black. And it'll get a little bit more dull as it dries. But maybe we stamp them in here. Okay. Again, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's it's like a little shiny right now. It'll you'll be able to see it in person. It'll be hard to show on screen, but once it dries, we're gonna trace over it with a Prismacolor white pencil crayon and then um, kind of make it look like it's sketchy. And I think maybe we can add maybe some like grass or something. I'm just going to put it on the side of the block. You could like heat emboss this with white but I think the the sketchy look you get with the pencil crayon is much better. I'm just going to add a few of these. And then we're going to be making um, a wood grain textured background in our frame to go around this. So I have some 65 pound recollections cardstock and craft. And we're gonna stamp the Simon Says uh, wood planks just to give it some texture. <clears throat> uh, and then we're gonna cut them into strips and then make a frame for this. And so for the color, I'm just gonna use Lawn Fawn's Dough Ink. This one's like my favorite, like brown ink from them. And I'm just, I'm not even gonna put this on the misty or anything. It doesn't need to be perfect. I just want a little bit of wood grain texture. Just like it's stuff. Just gonna lay this down. So these will get placed around here, and then the bigger one will go on the bottom, kind of like the ledge, and then I might like layer it, because like, if you remember being it's the ledge like came up a bit on an angle, so this will kind of like mimic that, and then maybe I'll pop that up on some foam tape. 
And I think I'm going to miter these corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the two pieces at a 90 degree angle and I'm just going to cut from corner to corner. Okay, and then they'll sit like that. And then we'll do the same on this side. Okay, now we have our little chalkboard that's actually really cute. Okay, we'll go on our card. But first, we're going to finish off the image. Um, you're going to want to use a waxy based pencil crayon for this. Um, don't use Crayola, it might not turn out as well. Um, so. Prismacolor, or I think what is the other Faber Castle, or uh, like Karen Dash, or stuff like Durant, maybe. Um, you're just kind of like gonna go over the lines and trace them. Just be like super sketchy with it. Have any like school themed images but I thought this like sentiment was really cute and it kind of like inspired me to do this idea. It would be like a good like encouragement card for your kids like first day of school if they're in like a new year or a new school or something. And just be like hey you can do it no problem. And I'm just gonna add a few thicker lines just kind of like make it look sketchy and then maybe we'll add a few clouds in the background just like freehand it if you want you can use other like stamp sets to do this but I think it looks fine clouds are easy enough to do just do a flat line at the bottom and like add some semicircles on the top and then you can take your finger and like just smudge it a little bit. And if you want, you can use like um, pastel colors if you wanted to give like a colored chocolate. I'm just gonna use the white today. Um, but if you have pastel like pink, blue, I think there's purple, yellow, Maybe like a minty green chalk that's available in colors. That's pretty cute, actually. I really like this. I'm going to try this technique a little more often. So, add a little bit of lines to the grass. Smudge them out a bit. And then, bonus, I thought that this would be fun. I have this like leftover felt, and I'm going to make like a little like chalkboard eraser out of it. I'm just gonna cut a chunk off. I think I might need to double layer it.
Okay, now we're going to go on to our sentiments on the inside and outside of the card. I'm going to use this as a gauge. Um, maybe cute to put like a little apple here too, if you have apples from the casino. I'm just going to take a pencil and draw a line here. That's where my image will stop. And I'm going to stamp it directly on the card base. And I'm going to use. Okay, I think I'm actually going to cut this out. Um, I've got my inky fingers all over the base of this card, and it's a hot mess. I think this does need like a bit of like a pop of red or something. So maybe I will add an apple somewhere. But for now, I'm just gonna glue this on. And I should have stamped the inside of the card first, but that's okay. <laughs> I have these mama elephant little bitties. There's a cute little apple here that makes them just, just add a bit of color to this. going to cut in between very carefully. And then we're going to take this little guy that I colored yesterday and stick him inside here. And then you can like write like a little encouraging message. I don't normally put things inside my cards, but I thought that this was cute. Once in a while I do do it. These are, I think they're Studio Cassia red gems. I just want to add a bit of color to this one because it looks like it's lacking. Okay, so that's our card for today. It's an encouraging, it's trash can, not trash can, you got this. Um, so yeah, again, like you could like give this to your kid for a first day of school if they're nervous or if you just want to give them encouraging words. And I think it's super cute and adorable. You could use whatever images you have. Um, I just thought that this sentiment was like kind of like perfect for this concept. So yeah, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks! Bye!